Hello friends, welcome to MATLAB school. In this video, we are going to simulate physiologic control based FOCF PMSM. So let us get into the simulation part. The same model is available for download in the link given in the description. If you want, you can download it and you can use it for your purpose. Okay. So this is the model we are going to simulate. Okay. So this is the uh, SLX file. So here we are going to implement FOC basically. So FOC is field oriented control of uh, uh, PMSM. So uh, this is the PMSM motor model that we are going to use. So this motor is a, a eight pole motor. Basically the number of pole per series uh, four so the number of poles would be eight so the maximum speed uh, produced by this motor uh, for a uh, uh, frequency of 50 hertz would be 750 rpm okay so this is the inverter model and to the inverter we are going to give the gate pulses and here we have the battery okay so uh, the rated uh, uh, voltage of the battery is kept at 100 and rated capacity is 100 AH and the initial SOC is 50. So uh, this is the reference speed. Uh, the reference speed that I am going to give here is uh, uh, for one second it would be uh, 500 and the remaining time it would be 750 RPM. So this becomes the reference speed. Okay. So uh, this is the reference speed. To the reference speed we are comparing the actual speed the actual speed will be in terms of uh, radians per second so it has to be converted to uh, rpm okay so for that conversion we are using this formula 30 by pi so this will convert the radians per second to rpm and here we have uh, the inputs to the fuzzy logic controller uh, the fuzzy logic controller gets two inputs one is error and another one is the change in error so this will compute the change in error uh, so using a multiplexer we are giving uh, error and change in error as inputs to the uh, fuzzy logic controller and the output of fuzzy logic controller is taken here so uh, the name of the face file is triple f1 so i will tell you where it is and how to uh, load that okay the output of fuzzy logic controller is uh, uh, given to the next stage where uh, the actual Q quadrature axis current will be compared with the output of fuzzy logic controller. So the fuzzy logic controller's output uh, becomes the reference IQ. So it becomes uh, IQ reference. We can name it as IQ reference. So uh, this IQ reference will be compared with the actual IQ current. Uh, so uh, after comparison, the error is calculated. The calculated error is given as input to the PID controller. Okay. So we are getting this uh, uh, quadrature axis, actual quadrature axis current and direct quadrature axis current by measuring the phase currents. Okay. We are measuring the phase currents here so by measuring the phase currents we are uh, feeding this to the uh, class transformation so this class transformation will convert iq ib ic to i alpha and i beta so basically it will convert three phase currents to two phase currents and uh, uh, again we need to go for uh, dq transformation so dq transformation is basically class to Park angle transformation. So for that we need to give the angle. So that angle will be calculated uh, from the output of uh, uh, the motor. So here we are calculating the theta and uh, the output of uh, this would be I, I, uh, SD and ISQ. Quadrature axis current and direct axis current. So these two are actual uh, quadrature axis current and actual direct current. So we are comparing this with uh, the actual, I mean the reference quadrature axis current. Since we are using PMSM, uh, the 
reference ID would be zero. So uh, this this is the reference uh, ID. Okay. So uh, again we are uh, calculating the error. The calculated error is given as input to the PID controller. So output of this PID controller becomes the direct direct axis voltage, and uh, the output of this PID controller becomes the uh, uh, quadrature axis voltage. So after getting these two voltages, D, uh, direct axis voltage and quadrature axis voltage, uh, we are going for pass to class transformation. So initially we have done Clark to Park. Now we are doing Park to Clark transformation. And then we are going with inverse class transformation. Okay. So the output of this inverse class transformation uh, will be three uh, currents, three sorry, three voltages, VA, VB, and VC. And here we have the PWM generator, which will generate a uh, three phase PWM. And the output of this PWM will be fed as input to the uh, inverter here. Okay. So let us uh, see the fuzzy. Uh, fuzzy controller here so the name of the FIS file here is triple f1 so it is uh, available here okay if you open this the fuzzy will be uh, loaded by and now it has come to the workspace okay so uh, now if you run the model the model will start to run so the model is uh, I mean, uh, if my model has started to compile, so in a way it will start to run. So it is compiling. Yes, it is compiling. It is taking a while to run. Yes, it is initializing now. Okay. So it has started to run. Yes, the fuzzy rule viewer weaver has opened. So the model has started to run now. Okay. Let us open this so as you can see the initial speed that we have given reference speed that we have given is uh, 500 500 rpm so it is trying to settle exactly at uh, 500 rpm since uh, this is a fuzzy controller it is taking uh, more time to run this we have to wait for some more time Yes, now uh, it is approaching the step. 
okay when it reaches this point it will move to a 750 750 rpm <laughs> Yes, just move to 750 RPM. Again, it will take a while to complete the simulation. Yes, the simulation is about to get stopped. Yes, yes, the simulation has okay. Uh, the same video is. Uh, I mean same model is available for a download in the link given in the description if you want you can download and you can use it for your purpose thanks for watching